parts of speech. What are they? Let's see. Noun. Second. Pronoun. Third. Adjective. Fourth. Verb. Fifth. Adverb. Conjunction. Interjunction. Preposition. So, let's see an example. Now, what is noun? Naming. Just give a name for a person, place, animal or thing. Example, in front of you, chalk. It's a thing. Think of an animal. Example, lion. So, naming of a word is called now. Second, pronoun. When you see pronoun spelling itself, you can see noun is here. So, here, instead of noun, instead of noun, we use pronoun. How can we use instead of noun? If Ram is given, so you can use he instead of Ram. Okay? Suppose Sita is given. Instead of Sita, you can use she. Okay. Next, adjective. What do you mean by adjective? Qualifies. It qualifies the noun. It qualifies the now, how it qualifies? He is a boy. It's a simple statement. So, now, how can we qualify boy? He is a good boy. We added good here. So, it qualifies the boy. And then, verb. What is verb? An action. An action. Like, I am teaching. Teach. Teaching, it is an action. You are listening. You are watching. So, it's the verb. And what is adverb? Which modify the verb. That is, which modify the action. Example, work. Slowly. So, he walked slowly how he walked he walked slowly now slowly modify the action perform here next conjunction i have said that junction where everyone meets it is called junction now here when two words or phrases joins together we say that as conjunction example Hari and Siva. Hari and Siva are brothers. Yeah? Both are joined by, both words are joined by the conjunction and. Next, interjunction. What is interjunction? It's a sudden expression of feeling. Suddenly expressing your feelings. Example, uh, you have lost your purse. Alas, use alas. I lost my purse. So, this is the action you are doing. When someone pinching you, pinching your ear, you are making sound out. So, it's the interjunction. Next, preposition. It relates it creates a relationship between noun and or pronoun with the other statement example cow is example cow is grazing in the field 
now you have to see the curve it is grazing in the field it creates a relationship between cow and the other statement other statements other part of the sentence now see it creates a relationship between cow and field that is in it is cow is grazing in the field so in that way the preposition acts it creates the relationship i hope you have understood about parts of speech